Hey there, folks. Hopefully this will work. I've got my camera set up very precariously. But uh, I'm working on the 424. It started conking out on me back in August, and I've kind of neglected it for a few months. But in sitting that time, the fuel tank went from mostly full to bone dry. And I couldn't find any other evidence of fuel leakage on the tractor. Um, and so I suspect, and the oil went, the oil level went up a little bit, not as much as I would have expected, but, uh, I'm just going to rebuild this fuel pump to get that out of the equation. So this goes on the side of the block and it's driven by the camshaft and it's just a little diaphragm pump. And this is the original one. You can get these new for maybe $35. They're plastic and small little thing, but that kind of bugs me. So I was able to find a rebuild kit on eBay. If you go on eBay and search Kohler K301 or 241 fuel pump, uh, you'll find lots of fuel pumps and probably a few of these. It's the same fuel pump on all of the, the K241 through the 16 horse, the 341, I guess. And so I've never done one of these, but it should be pretty simple. So I'm just going to see what we find in here. Just four screws. And there shouldn't be much in here except a diaphragm and probably some check balls. stuck. Yeah, there we Oh, there we go. Just twists, then pulls out, because it, it has to lock in this lever. see any I don't know if this was leaking or not I don't see any obvious tears and I see a lot of engine oil on the bottom which you'd expect but I don't see any engine oil on the top so I don't know I won't replace it anyway And here, oh, I see. Now, they didn't send any parts for this, but it looks like <clears throat> there's a screw in here and then a casting that goes in there. And then there's, a, there's some valve flaps up in there. There's probably like a steel reed, kind of a spring. Um... Okay. 
So, uh, this is the out, no, wait a minute. Yeah, this is the outlet to the carburetor. And I can get air through it, but I can't blow back through, so that's a good sign that one's working. And this one, I can blow through it, but I can't suck through it. So that means that gas can go that way, and theoretically it can't go back that way, so... I'm not going to mess with these valves anyway. So this is the gasket. It'll go there to seal between the, blo the uh, engine block and the pump. I gotta pry my old gasket off yet. And then this spring goes under here. And this diaphragm should go down like this. big oh wow that's a little different this is too big it's too wide well I think I what I can do is file the sides of that a little bit and get it to match the old one Okay, I got a file. I don't think this will take much. Um, That's enough. So, I want to wipe the bottom of this off. Wipe those filings off. I'll try this again. got it. Hmm. The only thing I'm looking at here is these holes in the gasket are not right at all. That kind of sucks. Um, if I can get one started. I think what I may have to do, I got one screw started. 
line these up and maybe uh, see if I can drill a small hole in those each of those holes through the rubber. Okay, so what I ended up doing was I used an X-Acto knife. I ended up taking the inner corner out of each of these holes a little bit. Kind of uh, rinky-dink, as they say, but we'll see if, if it's enough to get this back together, get all four screws started. That one went. Oh yeah, you can actually hear it. That's what it should sound like. Yep, it pumps air into my mouth. Well that's cool, maybe I can get this thing running at least. I got a bunch of other work I want to do on that 424, and I'm hoping to film some work on that. So, uh, yeah, the only, my only disappointment is that the quality control isn't very good because that gasket is obviously stamped for a slightly different pump. So it requires a little modification, but I'm happy if I can keep my metal fuel pump. It looks a little better. to get a razor blade and scrape this old gasket off. You know, I hope the new one is right. Yeah, that, that looks right. And then I'll uh, mount this back on the tractor. We'll go from there.